Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try to solve this problem. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to follow the general uh, steps you should follow in the coding interview when I'm trying to solve this problem. So first of all, let's try to read through this problem to get a good understanding. So during the interview, if there's anything uh, unclear to you, feel free to bring the question to the interviewer. So let's see. So given a row times column string and a sentence represented as a list of the strings, return the number of the times the given sentence can be fitted on the screen. So the order of the words in the sentence must remain unchanged and the word cannot be split into two lines. A single space must separate two consecutive words in the line. So let's see the example. Let's see. Okay, so the first example might be a bit easy, but let's see the second example. We have A, B, C, D, and E, three words in a sentence. And the screen is three times six. So we see we can first put A and B, C, D uh, with a single space separate the two words on the first row. And then we put E and A on the second row so the reason we cannot put another BCD is because we run out we run out of space for the second row. So for this one, we are going to be able to put two of the sentence uh, on the single screen. So that's pretty much it, I think. Um, yeah, so I think we have a good understanding about the problem. So let's let's see the constraints first. So let's say. We have the sentence containing words anywhere between 1 to 100. Each word contains 1 to 10 letters. So each, so all our lowercase English letters. And the screen row and column is anywhere between 1 to 20K. OK, so it seems like the row can be, row and column can be pretty long. Um, so let's see. So until now, I don't really see any of the edge case that is worth to mention. So let's think, let's think about how to solve this problem then. So how to solve this problem? So the first thing I can think about is a brute force solution, which is uh, to do some simulation. So what I mean by simulation is that uh, for each of the line, we try to fill as much of the words as we can. And then uh, until we until we reach the end of the, uh, the 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 end of the row, and then we start the, another row. So for example, let's say for example two, first of all we put a here, and then uh, we put another uh, empty space here, and we put a BCD here, uh, and we see okay, we only have one space here, so we cannot put another word there, and then we start another line. So so on and so forth. So for this one, um, the the disadvantage for this approach is that when the when each when each row is very long, then it is going to be very time consuming. So, for example, we are so for example, let's say the row is uh, one thousand one thousand uh, space long. Then we are going to repeat this step, like we put a and b c d e and a b c d e, so something like that. Then it is going to be very time consuming. So instead, um, one idea to make some improvement on top of this one is to uh, is to actually not really do the simulation. Uh, instead, we could do something smarter. So we, that's the second way I'm I'm going to mention. So the second way, what we could do is we could change the words, chain the words in the sentence together to get a real string. So for example, for this one, you get a B, C, D, and E as a single string. So um, in this way, uh, what we would uh, actually, we need to add another space here. Because if we have another sentence, we want to add another sentence, which is A, B, C, D, and E. We actually need a space to separate them, uh, to separate the two, the, the two individual sentences. So here, uh, first of all, we will change the words together uh, and separate each of the uh, and, and separate each of the word uh, using a a single space, um, and then we have a, a string which contains all the words in the sentence, and then we will see how many uh, how many how many sentences we could fit on a single row. So if we reach the end. So for example, let's say it, this is a three by six uh, column. Here, uh, we cannot really fit 
uh, all the words uh, from a single sentence in the single in the single row. So we could actually fit into uh, this space. So that's where we are going to continue. But let's let me give you another um, better example. Let's say if it is a three by one hundred, uh, three by one hundred screen, then it is going to fit actually more than one of the sentences on a single row. So here, what we could do, what we will have is we could actually fit anywhere one hundred divided by two oh, sorry this is zero one two three four five six seven divided by seven so in this way we could save a lot of time when uh, save a lot of time when comparing with the first way which is about doing some simulation so instead we could do some simple math uh, to calculate how many of the sentences we could fit on a single line and then uh, at the same time we are going to try to um, try to compute Try, try to compute where we should restart uh, when we try to start a new line, which means, um, for example, if it is only going to fit the first two words um, for the rest of the space in the first line, then we are going to start from uh, E uh, at the second line. So that's pretty much about the general, uh, general idea how to solve this problem. So let's see uh, the runtime for this. So here, of course, we are going to have the rows uh, as a factor in the runtime. So for so the runtime to fit the, the the runtime for each of the to fit each of the row is gonna be so let's say it could be anywhere. Yeah, so it could be anywhere between. Well, I would say it would be max length of uh, word in sentence. Be so the reason for this is because we, ju we are just going to try to find the, the first uh, space uh, we are trying to, uh, the first space. So for example, let's say we only have Zero, let's say for the last for the for the rest of the space in the first row we only have five space there then we are actually let's say we have all right so let's say we have six of them oh sorry uh, that's not a good idea so let's say we only have four of the space for the rest of the line then actually we need to find the first space that separates a and b c d then we go back until we find the first space. So that's going to take the to to find the space here, like uh, the space between A and B C. It takes uh, like linear time of the 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 length of the word. So that's why I add a factor which is max length of the word in the sentence. So that's uh, essentially the runtime. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for this uh, solution. So let's do some coding work on top of it and see how it works. So first of all, I need to have a string. So let's say sentence str as equal to a, or maybe you need to have a string builder here. Uh, new string builder. So uh, it goes through each of the word in the sentence. So if speed dot depend the word was a space there. And then we have string as sentence str is equal to sp dot to string. And then let's keep another thing, which is called sentence lens. It's gonna be sentence str dot lens. Until now, we have finished the first step, which is going to chain all the all the words in a sentence together and separate using a single space there. And then the next part for us to do, uh, I would say I'll keep a, another one, which is the hmm, cursor. So the cursor is actually uh, the cursor within the uh, the the cursor is actually 
how much of the space we have actually used to fit uh, the words within the string. So the cursor is going to start from zero. Oh, we are going to have, let's say we have the, well, uh, row is equal to zero. Row is smaller than rows and uh, plus plus row. So this is going to be a for loop to go through each of the row. And the, within each of the row, we are going to do the calculation, uh, the mass calculation we talked about above. So, here, what we would do is we need to have the cursor to start plus equal to column. So that's the new space we are going to allocate here. And um, okay, so let's see if, well, if I would say if cursor uh, modular, okay. So this would be if sentence str dot car at cursor modular the length of the string. So let's say it's, it's called sentence length. So if this one is a single space, so which means uh, we, so for example, for this example, let's say if the cursor hit uh, here, then it is a it's actually a a, a a space there so what we could do is we could actually say okay we could just save this space instead of uh, using more of the save space there so what we would do is um we could uh, have cursor plus 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 cursor you're going to plus plus the cursor here so like here we are having the space then um yeah so if that is okay so let me see if that is a space then we need to plus plus the cursor because we need to fit the next word in the new line okay otherwise what we would do is we need to find the space there uh sure so well hmm. So if it's not a space, then what we would do is if the cursor is, well, the cursor is the letter or equal to zero and the sentence str the car at, this is would be cursor divided by mod modular sentence length. If that one, uh, is not equal to a space. Then we are going to minus minus the cursor there. So that's pretty much it. Um, so let's see. So after that, we are going to have the cursor. So the cursor is going to be something like all of the space we have used to allocate uh, to all of the space we have used to allocate the, the words within the sentence. So here, finally, what we could do is we just need to return cursor divide by the sentence lens. So I think currently that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, so, so currently I'm thinking about whether we should plus plus the cursor here for this if loop. So if it is, so if we are encountering a empty space here, um, so what we would do is, yeah, so we need to actually s say, okay, this is the space we have used to allocate this. Okay, yeah, I think that should be it. And then, well, the cursor is not equal to a, a uh, a space there then we are going to say okay we minus minus the cursor and then at the end it wouldn't be a so at the end it would be the space there so when it is a space we should say okay we should actually plus plus cursor which means we have allocated a space for this uh, for this uh, single space there. 
Um, sure. So let's run through this code to see how it works then. Hello world, it works. And then for the rest of that, it works as well. Let's do a submission for it to see how it works. Okay. So it seems like we have done with this question. And that's it for this uh, pro coding question. If you have any question regarding the solution or regarding whatever, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.